this is my latest airsoft project. It's my minigun. It's uh, mainly PVC and steel construction. I've got a version 3 gearbox inside, 7mm bushings. Um, I short stroked the piston three teeth, reshimmed it according to the height of the, the pinion gear, not the spur gear. It's got a Matrix 3000 Magnum short style motor with the uh, heavy duty neo medium magnets in it. Uh, the rotating barrels, they're powered by a cordless 18 volt drill motor. The ammo box holds 20,000 BBs. I've got a modified auto winding high cap mag, which used to be a G36 high cap mag, but it's uh, powered by a 3.7 volt motor. Runs off a 3.7 volt lithium ion 18650 battery. The uh, firing mechanism is MOSFET controlled and that is closed by a laser pressure switch and the MOSFET is rated at 65 continuous amps so I've got plenty to uh, plenty of room to play around there. I fixed the angle of engagement on the piston and uh, it shoots around 21 to 22 rounds per second. I did a audacity test on it and uh, that's what I came up with. I'm not sure. I'll have to do another one with a full battery. It took me about three or four days to build um, other than that, I, I like to hold the trigger down and, and shoot as many as I can before the battery dies. And uh, it, so far, so far so good. Works great. And it really wasn't that tough to build. And I like it because now I don't have to reload. And I'll give you a little demonstration. The auto winding mag actually keeps up with the rate of fire oh, I didn't know I had BBs in it but I shot in the first the rotating barrels are completely separate individual circuits I did it that way for ease of troubleshooting so far so good it works really good and I've been uh, firing thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds dry firing and shooting BBs and uh, in an attempt to blow up the gearbox but so far I have failed in my attempt because I like to find out what the weak point in it is uh, but so far it's held up pretty good I've probably fired it about 25,000 times so far in the past four days the um, what else uh, JG stock gears out of a G36 that I hand polished and uh, put them back in. Those are holding up nice, they're nice and smooth. And um, I'd like to put a high speed gear set in, in it or a uh, dual sector gear set up in it. One of the two, I'm not sure. Might go dual sector gear to really jack that rate of fire right up there. Get around 50 rounds per second. And uh, yeah, I like it. 